Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Maya and today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. Um, I've been gone. I've been gone for a really long time, but I've been super, super busy like with school and finals and summer school, but I'm back now and yeah, let's just get into the video. So the first thing I do is put my hair back so it doesn't get in the way, obviously. And the second thing I do is take some pads and then if I'm wearing makeup, I just go over my face with micellar water. This works so much better than any type of makeup wipe. And I know I'm late to this, but it just works so good. So today I don't have on any makeup, but I still like to do it just to get all the dirt and stuff off my face. Cause like there's stuff on there. There's like stuff, dead skin probably. But the next thing I do is I go in with this CeraVe Renewing Face Wash. I got this face wash by from Skincare by Hiram. Yeah, he's a pretty good, he's a pretty good person to watch even though he always says he's not a licensed dermatologist. I think that he's a pretty good person to watch. And also this other guy, I forgot his name, but I'll link both of them down below. I think this kind of goes without saying, but make sure you always wash your hands before doing your skincare routine. If you don't, that's just dirty. You're just rubbing dirt on your face. Now that my face is all clean, I'm gonna use one of these Bior nose strips on my nose just to try to get any blackheads or whiteheads out of my nose. I don't know, some people say that these don't work that well, but they work really good on me. Like if there's something to actually get out of my skin, then it gets it out. And lately I've been having a lot of whiteheads for no reason. But other than that, my skin has been doing pretty well. So I'm just gonna leave this on for 15 minutes, then I will be back. Okay y'all, so I'm back and I'm gonna rip this off. Let's go. Ready? Ready, set, go. Oh, I wasn't ready. Okay, ready, set. Oh, only half of it came off. Okay. I don't think you guys want to see this, but there's like the little black heads on there. Or white heads, I mean, white heads. But you can't see because they're tiny. Okay, let's go second half. Oh my gosh, it's literally coming off in pieces. It's never done this before. It's showing out for the camera. I say that that got a good amount of stuff off. So now I'm just gonna rinse the, the excess stuff off my nose and then get into the rest of the routine. Honestly, that got a pretty decent amount of stuff out of my nose. The stuff that's in my nose is just like small whiteheads and stuff, which I already said, and that got quite a few of them out. So next, I'm gonna be using these Noxema salicylic acid pads. Salicylic acid has so many different benefits for your face, but I really won't, I'm not gonna go into the benefits of all these products or why I use all these products really in depth in this video because I'm thinking about making a video on it in the future where I'll like tell you guys how I built my skincare routine and why. And ooh, this stuff really, really burns but like in a good way though, like it's a working type of burn. I feel like if you're gonna get anything I use in this video, y'all should get these because they work really good and they're only like $3 and you can get them at Target or Walmart or like CVS. So the next thing I use for my skincare routine is this Glow Recipe Watermelon Toner. This works so good, but it's so expensive. Literally this little sample size, which I used all of it, was $15 and this was like $34 plus tax. 
tax added, this was almost like $40, but it's kind of worth it. It's worth it. Oh, I need to open it up. I, I just got it. It smells, it smells like watermelon sour patch kids. Like it has a watermelon smell, but at the same time, it's kind of sour. But this stuff works so good because it has BHA and PHA in it. Yeah. And that's why it works really good. The chemical peel from The Ordinary that you see a lot of people using, like the red one, that also has BHA and PHA in it, which is why a lot of people like it. But this, this stuff literally makes your skin glow. So I just spread it all over. And then after that, I just tap it like this because somebody on TikTok said that it was good to do that. So now I just do that. It makes me feel fancy. It makes me feel like I'm doing one of those, what is it, Vogue? Those Vogue, yeah, those Vogue get ready with me, you know? One day, hopefully one day, yeah. I freaking, I freaking love this stuff. It makes your skin glow. Sponsor me, sponsor me glow recipe. I really want to try their new face masks and stuff. I heard that it's really good. So next, I use lactic acid from The Ordinary. I use the 5% one because this is my first time using this stuff and I didn't want to go too strong. And I only use this stuff at night because it can damage your skin barrier or make it less strong so it doesn't block out the sun as much. So I only use this at night. And I read that this stuff is supposed to be really good for like fungal acne and fungal bumps, which are like the super small bumps that I have on my nose and stuff. And I used to use this day and night, but I felt like it was kind of starting to irritate like my skin using it twice a day. So that's another reason why I switched to only using it at night. So next I'm gonna go in with my Shea Moisture Cannabis Sativa um, and Hemp Moisturizer. It won't focus, but I literally love this moisturizer. Skincare by Hiram also recommended this moisturizer. It's very, very thick, but I feel like it soaks up really good. And as you can see, I literally love this stuff. It's gone, like gone. And it makes me feel fancy because it's a, in like a little glass jar, but I just like dot that all over my face like this. And then I go in with my rose hip oil. And at first when I heard that we should be using oil in our skincare routine, I was like, what? My face is already oily, but your face gets oily because it feels like it's not, it doesn't have enough oil. So then your face starts to produce oil, kind of similar to the way when your body is hot, your body sweats, cause it feels like the temperature is not cool enough. So yeah, that's what your face does when it produces oil. So when you use oil in your face hair routines or your skincare routines, it combats that because then you know, your skin doesn't feel the need to make oil. And this is just this is just stuff I learned by watching YouTube videos, guys. So if I'm wrong, forgive me. Also, don't take my word for it. Like, look it up yourself. But that's just kind of what I learned. So I try to just make sure that's soaked up really good. Because like I said, that moisturizer is super, super thick. And I recommend using a lightweight cold press oil, like this oil, rosehip oil or any oil 
I recommend it being cold pressed because it's supposed to be better. I forgot why. So the next thing I do is just massage my face. I take my fingers and I crunch them like this and I just go in an upward motion. And I just do this quite a few times. And then I just take my hands and I go up like this from my cheekbones, underneath my eyes to my cheekbones to my temples. And then I just go down like this. And that's supposed to promote blood flow in your face while like toning it at the same time. The last thing I do is take these acne pimple spots. It's, this is the Alba Botanica brand, but I just literally got any random brand of pimple patches that Walmart had. The key thing is you wanna make sure they have hyaluronic acid in them. Hyaluronic acid is really the thing that helps um, shrink pimples, hyaluronic acid and salicylic acid. So when people put like toothpaste on pimples and whatnot, it's basically like a ghetto version of hyaluronic acid and salicylic acid and that's what helps shrink them. And these have hyaluronic acid and you saw that my facial cleanser and my pads had salicylic acid in them. So I've just kind of been making it a point to incorporate those in my skincare routine because I used to be so good for putting like toothpaste on my pimples and stuff like that but that's actually not that great for you so if you do that you might want to stop I don't know if it works for you then don't stop I guess but you know so if I see a pimple coming on I just take one of these pimple patches and I put it on there I have a pimple coming in on my chin you can't really see it but I'm just gonna put it there And yeah, that is all for my skincare routine. Just to finish up, I put on ChapStick. Right now I have Aquaphor. I usually use Carmax, but Target didn't have that. So I'm just gonna use this Aquaphor. And now we are all done. Usually, why did I say it like that? <laughs> So that's all for my skincare routine. This is the routine I use to manage to get rid of my forehead bumps and reduce the amount of bumps that I have on my nose because my main my main problem spots were my forehead and my nose, but I've really reduced those. So I think that this is a beneficial routine. I've been using this routine for about two months now, I would say, and I think that it works really, really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys comment down below any video suggestions. Leave a like if you like the video and subscribe and turn those post notifications on because I post every Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.